we'll go ahead and get started. First of all, welcome to 2024, everyone. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Happy New Year. I'm hoping for much success and prosperity for all of you. Oh, so, yeah. Same to you. With, thank you. Thank you. And with this new year are coming new changes for all the right. workshop. Yeah. So um, one thing is that I want to invest a lot more time and energy into building up these workshops. And so from our previous 10 sessions, I have learned a lot. I have been uh, thinking a lot about how I can structure everything in order to add more value, help people with their projects, and also scale the class to have the scale, the, excuse me, the workshops to have uh, more members and, and be able to manage everyone effectively. So with that being said, these are that I have up on the board are the primary changes. And for starters, um, the new schedule. So instead of only meeting every Sunday, what I want to do is open up Monday through Friday to uh, members, okay? So from Monday through Friday, so Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm thinking about having workshops. So in workshops, because here's the thing, we've got so much that we've got to cover. We've got, we, we want to um, dive deeper into administrating WordPress and Divi. We want to dive deeper into Zapier. We want to dive deeper into Gravity Forms. And so currently everyone is showing up to the, uh, the workshop every Sunday, you know, as you have the time to do so. But what I'm imagining is that we switch over to doing things that I'm going to have like a weekly, um, like basically a weekly schedule of what the uh, the focus for that day is going to be. So Monday, Wednesday and Friday will be workshops. So maybe it'd be something like Monday, WordPress, uh, Wednesday, Zapier, Friday, WooCommerce, you know, something like that. Right. So um, so it will be, you know, but it, it'll change week to week. But in these workshops, there will be the um, those will be the focus points. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays will be office hours for one on ones. So that's your opportunity. So you'll 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 be able to choose from the my avail available time slots on my calendar. -ly. And you'll be able to pick a time um, and then we'll come in and we'll just work on whatever, you know, like your goals are for your project for 30 minutes or an hour to get you past whatever your personal needs are because what i want to do is um another thing is i have been making a lot of uh, uh video tutorials that i'm going to be dropping into the uh replay and so what you'll be able to do is on your own time you'll be able to drill into um the stuff that in the past i've been covering in 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 in, in classes so like for example um you know uh send grid instead of us doing that as a workshop that'll be a video inside of there. And then, you know, a person can, you know, do the send grid on your own time. But the workshops will primarily be used for introducing new um, topics or introducing new levels of learning. But then, um, and then that's going to work in parallel with the video content that I record and, and add to the Dropbox, I mean, to the Dropbox replay. And then in the workshops, you'll come with your projects, We'll resolve any of those issues like we've been doing and things like that and introducing new stuff. And then also you'll have the option to schedule for one on one. So through all of these, uh, um, everybody should be able to move through from beginning to end and up to advanced and, and through whatever projects you've got rather quickly. You'll have enough time and uh, access to me and also um, to you know, workshops instead of us just doing it once a week. And so, um, yeah, so so right now I'm still recording uh, content and putting it in the Dropbox replay. And I have, oh, you got a question, DJ Marcus? Oh, okay, I saw your hand go up. So I should be finished within two weeks. So within two weeks, I'll open up registration for new members to come in. Now, first of all, all of you that are that are um, still here with us. All of you will, um, like nothing changes with your membership level, 
but some of you may have noticed that there are new membership levels that are coming out. So that is for um, the next group of people that come in. But for all of you, um, nothing changes for you. You're thank you. Thank yeah, you're you. fine. Yeah. Okay. I was worried about that. Like, oh, <laughs> <God, laughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, y'all my day ones. So no, it's all good. Um, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all, you all are uh, safe and secure under your current membership uh, situation. Okay. And so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, with that being said, uh, is there any questions right now? So I, we, we'll, one thing I'll say to add to that is that, um, maybe we'll still meet next Sunday if you want, but, um, it's going to kick into the new, it's going to kick into the new schedule once I open up registration and I'm going to open up registration once I finish recording all of the, 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 um, the, the, the 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 pre-recorded content for the Dropbox replay. You you said like about two weeks or something. Yeah, about. I've been about having two tons of people coming up to me asking me when you gonna open and when. Mm -hmm. can we, oh, the link don't mm -hmm. work, and I don't see where you can sign up. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. well, it's not ready yet. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so right now, and that's another thing. I've been um getting the bot ready. So yes. and it trade, you're one person and uh, cyber shade. Both of you have been bot testers helping me bot test, which have been really helpful. But I have been the the uh, the uh, chat bot is going to be instrumental in helping all of you and newcomers with just about everything related to the workshops. Even when it comes to your uh, help with your projects, you'll be able to ask Izzy certain things and she's gonna be trained on all of the videos that are in the Dropbox replay and everything that we've ever covered in our classes. Oh, wow. And she'll be able to reference, not only just answering questions like a chat GTP, which isn't really helpful, she's gonna be able to revert you back to what we've covered in classes. OK, That's and so of, what I'm doing is I, I'm making so. So one thing you'll notice is that with the Dropbox replay, um, my vision is that since these classes are recorded and you were here, it's going to be easier for you to be able to find, OK, what did we cover? Right. And so you go in and you can just you can search through the transcripts yeah. and, and find like a point in the video. And then if you've got a question on that point, you could just circle something and type your question. And then I get notified and I come back in and answer it. We leave it there for the next person that has it. I mean, it yeah. just seems like it's really going to be helpful. Right. Yeah. So um, so I'm 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 instead of uploading these classes to the uh, YouTube, I'm putting them in the Dropbox replay. So you go back yeah. there, that way. This is where they're at. This is where you co we collaborate on them, and then mm -hmm. that adds value for the next people that yeah. need to the information. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that's uh, so that's that. Oh, another thing. The uh, um, okay. Well, yeah. So with the with the schedule, before I move on to the communications, any questions about the uh, come upcoming schedule? So I will announce and let you all know about that once that's ready, right? But okay, okay. we can uh, come next Sunday and the Sunday after, like we can keep this going if you want until we switch to that. Um, okay, this so with that being the case. What is this? All right, so next, new communications. So I, one thing that, um that that i think about often is the experience everyone gets when it comes to being managed through the instagram group and through the discord and you know mm -hmm. honestly i don't think it's i don't think it's very effective and so i'm thinking about ways to first of all allow you all to cut down on notifications right mm -hmm. so you shouldn't receive notifications that you don't need like, for example, if someone asks, hey, how do I change my logo? Right. Everyone in the group in the, in the group don't need to be notified about that. Right. Yeah. So I am trying to uh, structure things in such a way that is going to uh, allow for you to only get notified of the things that are important. So mm -hmm. uh, coming soon, we're going to stop using the Instagram group and we're going to stop using the Discord for communications. Okay. 
Um, and so some stuff, like, first of all, you'll be able to use the chat bot for anything that you, you know, like that you want to send me, um, that you could do that. Or you, most of you know me personally, so you can just message me directly also. Yeah. But when it comes to group, uh, or, you know, full group member workshop communications, what I'll probably do is with your permission, I'll probably either push a text message. So like i can send out a text like let's say that i want to say hey you know workshop is going to be canceled today mm -hmm. if with all of your permission i can just send that out as a text right mm -hmm. um but then when it comes to anyone needing support well the support will go through izzy so if you got a question you can ask izzy and if izzy doesn't know the answer izzy will send the question to me yeah. And then I'll answer it. I noticed that in the testing. For the Did you? GPT, yeah. And it says I notify. Yeah, you'll it'll right. It'll yeah, notify, notify me. You. So anytime it doesn't know the answer, it yeah. lets me know. Yeah. And then it'll right. So uh -huh. so we're gonna use that a lot more. You'll just talk to the bot um about anything related to class, and the bot will know the answer. And if it doesn't, it'll send it to me. And then plus yeah. on top of that, if you know me personally, then you just contact me personally also. Um, but then we will use the discord, but honestly, I'm still figuring out for what exactly, because it, we don't really need to use it. Like some people use it for, um, like, uh, tutorials because they're going to be in the Dropbox replay and the replay is more efficient for the tutorials because you can actually comment and, and mark them up. Mm -hmm. So that's a better place for the tutorials to be. Yeah. But the Discord does the Discord technology has value, and I feel like we should use it. But honestly, I don't know exactly what. But we're gonna move most of the communications through a text message. If I want to notify you, text message and email, and um, and if you want to get in touch with me, you can use the Izzy, you know, or mm -hmm. just send me a message, you know, directly. Okay. And then also, if you need to schedule with me, you'll use my Calendarly. Okay. You know, and just pick a date on the calendar. Lead. That's going to be available to everybody easily. You know, so all okay. of you are going to have easy access to my calendar lead and to Izzy. And between those two, you can do anything you need to do with me quickly. Okay. Cool. All right. Any questions about that? You said what well, yeah, your calendar lead is going to be. Yeah, it's going. Izzy. Yeah, Izzy will know it. It's going to be on the website for all of the members, and then also I'll put it in the group. Uh, Horizon uh, workrooms, uh, message board, like it'll be okay. everywhere. You'll be able to get it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So the new tutorials, actually, I, I technically covered it um a little bit earlier, but but basically, I'm just going to. I want to. I want to cover so much. I want to. I want to cover about bots. I want to really, really help you all build good, sophisticated bots. I want to really help you build e-commerce powered websites or, um, you know, uh, social media websites or whatever you want to build in order to be able to monetize your projects and your business and do the things that you want to do. So um, I'm going to instead of like so in the last uh, collection of, 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 of uh, workshops, I was trying to do things in like a class where it's like you know i have like I, I almost lecture and you all follow along and i tried that and it worked to a to a degree on some things but some things it was very clunky for a lot of different reasons and also i hog up a lot of time so what i want to try to do is the things that should be done independently there's going to be tutorials for it so for example if next week this is just as an example if next week we're going to be focused on the knowledge base in bot press right I'm going to make a tutorial covering the knowledge base in BotPress. And then there's going to be the workshop on Wednesday for it, right? But you will all have already watched the tutorial maybe. And then when you come in, you'll already have your project and you have questions. Because the main thing what I'm thinking um, of the value coming from us being in workshops is, you know, since we're like in human form here with each other to a degree human form but since we're here, <laughs> <laughs> but this is a time for like like exchange this is a time for like okay 
what's your question that you can't put in text and ask? Yeah. <laughs> now, you can share your screen and I, like I want to what's the what's the best balance of things you do on your own? Mm -hmm. And then when we come together, what should we do in real time so that the time is spent effectively in real time and you're able to work on the things on your own time? at your own pace you know that are that makes sense to do that so that's what i'm trying to solve with this new balance between uh workshops office hours and tutorials <laughs> mm. so these are the uh basically the new beginnings and this is um this is pretty much my spiel of what i wanted to to cover in this workshop any questions Oh, man. <laughs> I think yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Okay. So everyone will be um updated, you know. You'll all know yeah. as when po. Last girl. Last is that last girl? The G? I, I can't see who that is, but I believe it's last that's girl. G, G Deuce. That's G Deuce. Oh, that's G Deuce. Hey G Deuce. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Cybershay, are you ready? Hey everybody. Yeah. Hey yeah. G Deuce. How's it going? Yes. You said you're, you're uh -huh. already? Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm going to get out of your way and you can uh, share and you can come up here and uh, if you want, but I'll come back to my desk. Okay. How do I get up there? Um, you just have to hit the move. yeah just hit um the the little chair um move uh move oh, button okay. yep and then point up there and yeah and and and, and you don't have to go up there you can oh, okay. you can prevent present from back here if you want but oh, let me go back to my seat because it's, it's yeah wrong. it's okay oh, yeah, yeah. you don't have to oh, shit, you don't have to go up there i just okay. was just yeah okay so this is MetaQueen's website, and we were going to do like a reality show to redo the website, kind of like kind of like a reality show. You said kind of we were mm -hmm. trying, trying to do like. Yeah, let me let me give a little bit of background information. So basically, um, MetaQueen Rupert, I think all of you know him. Um, if not, he is has been really active in Horizon Worlds, doing a lot of great things, helping creators, etc. But uh, he needs a website overhaul. Cybershay wants to um, do it as a class project, maybe. So yeah, if anyone wants website. to participate, yeah, it mm -hmm. would be like a workshop exercise. And okay. and I was thinking like it might be cool to kind of turn it into a reality show <laughs> type of thing. So I will shoot it, like shoot us going over it. So like what we'll do is we'll get together, um, and then we'll talk about like a plan and I'll record us doing it, but I'm going to end up cutting it up and just, you know, making mm -hmm. it like a reality show um, of us. Kind of like, if you think of like, like those, uh, like Chopper City, like Orange County Choppers, uh, they make a reality show around building motorcycles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> make, okay. make like a little short, little, little short few minutes per video reality show of uh, making websites. Continue, Cyberspace. Thank you. So we mm -hmm. want to add some like features to the website. It looks like a pretty good website anyway. We just want to add some more features like a chat box would be good. Mm -hmm. And his um shop here, I don't know if it's connected to a store. Just say $5. $5. I don't know. Yeah, so we don't know what these products actually even yeah. are. So we've got to, but They're yeah, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is his site now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is his website now, his current website. It what looks like I was looking. Thing? He does have forms on here. Let's he see. has a couple of forms. Let me see. Okay. Hold on one minute. Let me see. This is where it's. Oh, he got an email for subscriptions right here. Mm -hmm. And then he had a contact form too. Hmm. Over here, contact us. Okay. He does have forms, but I don't know where's the forms. Where are they going to? So what I'm thinking is we hmm. we we build a really nice site. Um, basically, uh, build him a site where 
he's able to monetize. We see he's trying to do so with his uh, services and products here. So we can actually, you know, if, if, if it's going to be a shopping cart, we can use WooCommerce or mm. we can use Gravity Forms and let people, you know, uh, you know, hook up, hook Stripe or PayPal or something onto it so that people can make payments. Um, we can hook on a, a, um, a um, scheduling system so people can schedule with him mm-hmm. um we can use zapier so that when people submit his form you know it updates in his crm and you know notifies uh anyone that needs to be notified so we will sit back and just kind of um have a session that we we plan out how we can how we can upgrade him using using our resources and mm. and uh yeah oh man and 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 then build and, and basically just build a site over and and what i'm thinking is that we can do this from time to time like um when, if you all you know as you come across someone that you mm-hmm. think um would benefit from from something like this then you know you can maybe bring it to the to the workshop and we could oh, do it as man. a group as a as a class project be somebody fun. will lead it yeah. So in this case, it's Cyber Shea leading the uh, MetaClean Rupert. And so anyone that wants to participate, G Deuce, you want to speak, please. What about just uh, just uh, what you just said? So you were saying that if we know someone who has a website that needs to be built, we could bring it to the class as a project. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. So um, that's what one thing that I was I was thinking might be um, as a learning experience. As a mm-hmm. learning experience, right? Yeah, I, I was thinking mm-hmm. that that would be helpful mm-hmm. because okay. it's going to introduce everyone to um, solving challenges for different types of of websites and businesses, and yeah, then so you'll right. get exposed to those different set of. Yeah. Uh, plugins and tools that you'll use for solving exactly. this business need versus that business exactly. need. Yeah, yeah. And so basically, um, yeah, but if you bring a project to the group, it'll be mm-hmm. you that's the head of it. So you're going to do the bulk of the work and then whoever else in the group that wants to, you know, help, like they'll share in, 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 in the responsibilities to the degree, you know, is agreed upon. Okay, cool beans. Okay. Yeah. So I, was, I was thinking that, that that would be something that um could be helpful for both the community and also as learning yeah. um, experiences for the for the yeah. workshop and for the group. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um Cyber Shay is uh so she's got the MetaClean Rupert project. Um anyone that wants to participate in it, I guess um maybe get with Cyber Shea. Cyber Shea is going to, I guess that um, like we we just have to so we we have to decide like when the first planning session would be. So like it could yeah. be sometime this week. It could be, you know, whenever it's going to be. But whoever wants to collaborate, we'll just we'll we'll get together and schedule. And then um, she'll have access to uh, all of the lab's resources. So the WordPress install and everything set up. And then we'll just start planning it out and working on it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. So, any uh, any questions or anything? Mm-hmm. How is everyone doing on your websites? Okay. So since last time. I got everything trimmed. My domain successfully is on GoDaddy now. Okay. And then I went through the video, watched the previous video with um DJ Marcus, and I set up my sim grid. So I saw an option on GoDaddy to set up a used email. Like, so how do I my domain that I have? I still want to do that. Set up an email inbox. Yeah. Well, using my domain. Sure. Okay. So yeah, GoDaddy does offer um inboxes. Um if you want to pay for the GoDaddy inbox, that's fine. How um, much is that? I didn't get that. Uh you can get the well, um I don't know, but they're yes. they're not they're not cheap relative to, you know, the reality uh, of an inbox if you have a server. Uh, technically, I can technically I can um 
assign inboxes to you if you if you don't want to pay anybody else um technically i can assign an inbox to you you just need to i'll have to give you mx records so mx uh. stands for the mail exchange and they're just more dns uh records that you'll have to add to your domain so that your domain will start to use my server for the mail exchange uh, uh protocol but um you know if you want to set up your own inbox you know you'll either have to have a server or you'll have to use um GoDaddy's, or you can use um google so google has inbox in fact i think you were using that weren't you weren't you using i have i mean i have google yeah yeah so google um also has has that as a server where you can create inboxes um a lot of other a lot of other places but i just since because i've got servers i just use my own servers for yeah creating inbox <laughs> i space. know you do yeah but yeah like i said i can i can set up in but with SendGrid, you don't have to actually have an inbox SendGrid is just routing so yeah. with SendGrid, it, it don't store it anywhere but you can spin up and route mail traffic on any you know email address that you create under that domain that you verify so you don't have to have an inbox for you can make you know whatever like on the fly and start using it you just you so it'll just won't have a, it'll it'll just, like a, but it'll route it'll send it to some other so like in this case like you can if, with your sync grid you you route mm -hmm. it to send it to your gmail oh and so use gmail as okay. the inbox so, so you've got give them like something at my domain.com and then it'll re send grid or reroute that reroute it to yeah to your gmail gotcha. and use your okay. gmail as the inbox okay i see what yeah. you're saying yeah i see what you're saying okay. i have a question about send grid too i sure. finally i was finally able to get send grid like before okay. i couldn't get it i went mm -hmm. on my phone and went on another email and i was able to get it okay uh, um when i went on there um i know i i looked at the video i didn't get finished all the video we got mm -hmm. to this part and you were saying that we have to put all of this into GoDaddy. is this whole section right here so no um i'm coming over here to you okay so what you do is you so if you want you can open your GoDaddy up um i think that's it right here is it? no that's not um, it. That's no it's not my it's not it's not open okay if if you want you can stop sharing and open your GoDaddy. just go okay. to the dns settings okay mm -hmm. and so once you um once you once you go there i'll i'll, I'll show you how to how to add them in mm -hmm. Okay, I'm here now. Okay, so you can start sharing again. Okay, so go ahead and go to your, um, click your drop down right here and then go to products. My products. products, yeah, my products. And then go to your domain. So whichever okay, one you want to manage. Domain. And then go to DNS, scroll down, view domain settings right here. You said what? I can't see. View domain settings view right settings? here. Okay. Yeah. And then DNS right here. Perfect. All right, scroll down. So now, um, so you're, we're going to switch back and forth between send grid and uh this godaddy tab so go ahead okay. and come back over to send grid so for this first one so okay now you can't when it comes to all of these you cannot just hit this copy button because this copy button copies this entire string right here for host and mm -hmm. godaddy doesn't need all of that the only thing you need is what's on uh that's before the first dot Okay. okay well in this well that's that's before cyber socialites the dot that that's before cyber socialites so for this first one it would be em6065 you need that and so you copy that and then you come back over to your godaddy 
and you're going to create a C name. And so you go to add new record. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then for the type, hit the drop down and select C name. Mm -hmm. and for name, paste uh, that string you got. Uh huh. For value, um, come back over. Mm -hmm. Come back over. Now you can copy this full value. So you can copy this. So the value is right over here. So you see how it says host and it mm -hmm. says points to. So yeah. this is that value right here. So you can copy that. Yeah. So on this side, you can actually use that button. You just can't use that button on that side. Mm -hmm. So now okay. come back over to your domain and then go ahead and paste that in the value. And now go ahead and save. Yep. And that's the first one. And you got to go through each one just okay. like that. So you can, you let's do the next one. So come back over to SendGrid. Come down here to this one. Now with this one, you got to come all the way over to the Y. So it's S1 dot domain key. Yep. Copy that. Create a new A record. C name. Paste that in there. Go get the value. Paste that in there. And then save. Yep. So that's uh you can you can go ahead and just go through. Okay. Because it's only a few more left. Add new record. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. No, that's TXT. You need C name. It was C name. Oh no, was it TXT? Sorry, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. All right. Okay. Let me see. Oh, yeah. You're right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I wasn't. I had. <laughs> I had blooped out. I had started oh, thinking about something else for a split second, oh, okay. and I. <laughs> uh, it happens. It happens. <laughs> yeah, I had a I had a bloop. <laughs> My brain went to like. What's for dinner? <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad you were paying attention. Yeah, you can just use the shortcuts on your keyboard, Control C and Control V. Mm -hmm. You want to be faster. C name. <sighs> G Deuce, did you ever get your um send grid resolved? You can scroll down now and 
um let me see yeah i've added these records you got to put the tick mark in there and then hit verify fingers cross we see scroll let me see cyber social they sent me another email asking more questions so i sent the response so i'm waiting to see what they say wow. again i wonder why though why is i mean it... let's see the following let's scroll up uh cyber Shea. let me see what these say uh, points to can you come over to uh the go it just may not be showing yet but can you come okay. over to the to the go daddy and let me to just GoDaddy? look at it yeah okay. let me just look at it real quick scroll down just right yeah that's yeah so just it, it may take it a little bit a bit just Time? yeah okay. it go back over to sing grid just give it a few hours Okay. Scroll down. Just try um refresh the screen. Yeah, try it. Yeah, you can refresh. You can try to hit the verify again though. It's verify it's, again. it's still down there, yeah. Okay. Just to see if it sometimes it'll be almost instant, but sometimes it'll take a little bit of time. Just refresh it. Okay. Refresh the page, yeah. It didn't it didn't it didn't seem like it even checked that time. <coughs> and then just but if it don't, just give it a little bit of time. Okay. And then, um, yeah, you got to tick this box again. Tick this again? Yeah. Because mm. you can see that they're right. Like, if you look mm -hmm. at right here, so you see it said expected C name for record. Like, if you just take this one right here, right? Mm -hmm. U -R URL 177. Wait a minute, you keep scrolling. <laughs> oh. URL 1774.cybersocialites. So come, wait a minute. What is? Wait a minute. Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. You're, you're, you don't have a, 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 you don't have a top level extension on here. Go back. Let me see your domain yeah, that you registered. You don't have yeah, a dot any this like cyber yeah, social. Okay. Cyber socialized dot what? Let me see dot your do domain that you're authenticating. So come under under your domain settings. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what come you... under settings here. Settings. Yeah, the settings right here. And then go to uh, sender authentication. And I just want to see your domain settings. Yeah, see, you just got cyber socialites. You're supposed to you be need, dot com? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's supposed to be cybersocialized.com. Oh, okay. If it is, okay. like, if, come over here. Let me see what video, it actually is. I think is. the video just said, uh, just put the domain. I didn't know. Yeah, the domain is with the extension. Oh, okay. That's what yeah, yeah. That's what makes a domain. It has mm -hmm. to have the extension. But come over to GoDaddy. Let me just lay eyes on your domain. Okay. Yeah, it's cybersocialized.com. So that's what you need to register. So come mm -hmm. over, come back over to SendGrid, and then. So we can't, we can't edit this. Click, click this. Click this where it say domain. I don't think we can edit this. Ooh. Just click, click, yeah, that. click this right there. Yeah, let me just see if we can edit this. No, when yeah, I had the mistakes before, I had to go from, I had to we, do them all over from scratch. We got to do it from scratch. Yeah, you got to yeah. make another one. Yeah, we can't mm. edit this. So you're going to have to go back to sender authentication, just make another domain. Okay. And then we're going to have to add these. These records might be the same, though. So we might not have to add them again. I don't, I, I just, I've never paid that close attention to whether or not they're identical. But if you just come under account settings and then go to domain um, sender authentication, and then you'll just create another domain. So scroll down. Yeah. Sender authentication. And then go ahead and authenticate your domain right here. And then hit the drop down and you can select GoDaddy. And then just say yes. And then next. And then for put cybersocialites.com. Mm. 
Make sure you spell it right. You can come over here and copy it from here. Mm -hmm. I was just about want. to say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, even I do that. Because, yeah. like, you know, there's yeah, no errors, errors. Right? Yeah, no typing I errors. Copy. <laughs> I go copy and paste. <laughs> yeah. And then press next. Yeah, then hit next. Yeah. But we're just going to go through this uh, mm -hmm. process. So it's going to give you this host. But let's just, mm -hmm. I think that, let, let's just check this one. EM7417. Come over to your domain. Go e back to seven. here. Yeah, okay. the GoDaddy. Yeah, and scroll down. EM7147. Let's just see if that's what it say. Scroll. Where is it? At? E nope, it's not. So we got to do these over. So we're going to have to delete these uh, mm -hmm. joints. So everything with SendGrid in it. So put a tick mark in this one. 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 This one. That one. That one. You got a TXT file in here with, with SendGrid also somewhere. It's probably on page two. You hit this drop down and select 50. So right now what you got it. This? Is this one social? No, no, no. Don't 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 do the uh, don't do the www. No, that's your uh that's your w. Mm -hmm. hit this drop down and select 50. So it show all of them. You got 10 right here. Oh, go all of them. Okay, yeah, no, but that's but it's not gonna say yeah, just hit the drop down right here and select 50. Go no. Back yeah, I wanted you to hit that arrow okay. right next to the number 10. So yeah, go to DNS right here. Just DNS. Okay. No, 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 no. Right. <clears throat> so go back. Okay. Mhm. Mm just go back. Domains? No, no, no. J just hit your uh, back button. Back button. Right. Yeah. Let's just go to the back button, and then DNS right here. So in this case, so so yeah, mm -hmm. when you go over to your sidebar, you start to manage other domains. Okay. You want to stay here in the center. So, so what? We'll scroll down to the bottom, and we're just going to make we're going to increase this number from ten to fifty, so that it shows all the records. Yeah, perfect. So now let's put a tick mark in all of the ones from SendGrid. So we're going to get this one, this one. Which I can't see which one. So um, yeah, that one. That yeah, this one, one right okay. here. Yep, this one right here at the top. Top one. It's just SendGrid. Dot, yep, that one, that one, that one. All of these going down here, except for the one with www. Okay. And I'll scroll down and get that txt one right here. Okay. Yeah, and then you can delete all those. So um, right here it says delete. Okay. Right here. Yep. Yep. Delete records. And so now you're going to go through that same process, but we're going to do it with this new. Okay. So now refresh your page. Refresh your page. Refresh it. Yeah. I think you. And I don't think all of them deleted yet. They didn't delete. Not all of them. How well, do you delete them all at one time. Right here, this delete button right, right here? here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you clicked that. Sorry. Yeah. And there you go. So now those are gone. So now let's go get these new ones. So they're over here. Yeah. And now, so you'll just go through this mm -hmm. same process again. Okay. So just uh yeah. Yeah, anytime so so uh mm -hmm. we'll just use while you're doing that, I'll just uh just say a uh just a, a, a rule of thumb or something to remember. Anytime you hear domain, it's referring to the name all the way up to the dot com dot org or whatever but when someone says the the url they want the whole thing so like let's say for example you're on a page domain.com slash about us so that would be the whole url all the way up to the about us but the domain in there would only be the your domain dot com for example okay, okay. If a person wants the URI, they only want the about us. They don't want the domain. Hmm. <laughs> so those are okay. those are those three. That's another thing I want to kind of um, for the people that are interested. I want to get get into like you know 
more advanced stuff about like domains and dns and Man. get into coding for anybody that wants to like Man. i'll give you i'll give you ftp access to your server and then you can start writing php into the WordPress. i took system. my first coding class in middle school i think it did was. you okay yeah, what did you what, what, what i just never language? went i just then i switched over to graphic design gotcha after okay. i took that class but then i took another class graphic design class my first geographic design class and i got into that and mm. and i ended up getting a major in that yeah gotcha yeah, so, yeah. yeah. i still yeah. actually got the textbook though from middle school that's great that's <laughs> coding html html there you go yeah. yeah that's a good place to start yeah. that's the foundation of it all <laughs> yep html yeah. hypertext markup language in yeah. fact a lot of people don't realize it but the ht in html is the same ht that's at the beginning of your url so when you see https colon that first ht stands for hypertext wow and html is hypertext markup language yeah so that's yep. why html is the skeleton of all web pages yes yeah and, i remember the web um, is based uh, on tutorial went in he literally went on apple's website Mm -hmm. and looked up the h found went up in uh, google settings and changed the html and it changed it on the web page i'm like yeah wow. i was like well oh, but it goodness. didn't you what you did was you in, you used your inspector and yeah, you did inspector, a change yes. locally yeah you did a local yes, change on your computer change. but if you refresh like, wow. your page it, it goes away yeah but yeah, yeah you can you can inspect any page you can view the source of any web page and see the html yeah. code yeah. In fact, that's how back in 1999, that's how I started Woo! building web pages. <laughs> I started building websites in 1999. We used to use literally Microsoft Notepad. And I used to write all the HTML <laughs> and all of the JavaScript and everything inside wow. this Notepad. And it would just get huge butter. <laughs> and every single and That's page, exactly what we used in my class, too. Did that's you? Crazy. Nope. Yeah, notepad. Wow. Yeah. And you can still use notepad because on uh, when it boils down to it, all of this is nothing but text. When it wow. boils down to it, it's just all text. So and you can use still use notepad. Disc. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> floppy disk. Oh, yeah. My goodness. Oh, wow. yeah. The floppy disk. Yeah. I remember when I was in college, I used to have a. Uh, <laughs> A, a, um, a container of floppy disks and they used to have all <laughs> stuff on. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. man. Yeah. On my, uh, it still is my Facebook picture. I still got my, uh, college, it's still my college picture from back then. I never changed it. <laughs> but it's, uh, you can see on my, on my waist, I've got, um my uh cd player, <laughs> like, <laughs> CD player with the anti-skip on it oh, like, but yeah, my CD player my way. and then my um and then i had the big old that those kia Sera, oh, yeah. kia Sera phones oh minute yeah by, <laughs> like, <laughs> hanging off of me yeah oh, it, yeah it was like but like inspector two inspector gadget two belt <laughs> <laughs> big old big clunky so boom baby you oh, in there. Yeah. it works yeah. cyber shay you see that hey it works hey. confetti confetti <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so now all you gotta do is uh authenticate your you can you can do that following the rest of the uh video video yeah but all you basically do now is just add the uh WP uh, SMTP uh, mail plug in to your WordPress and then uh, authenticate with SendGrid. I mean, we can mm -hmm. do it now if you, we still got a few minutes left in class if you want, but it's, it's uh, not difficult. Do you want to do it now or you want? You want to do I'm, it? Okay. I don't know if anybody else have questions. Does anybody, anybody else have questions or anything? Anybody well, let's let's go ahead and get you together, CyberShake. Okay. Let's come to your WordPress. Okay. All right. So now, do you have it in here? Nope. So go ahead and hit Add New Plugin. And then WP Mail SMTP. I think, or WP, yeah, WP mail, SMTP, I think it is, or WP SMTP mail. I think it's WP SMTP mail. 
Yeah, that female uh, male yeah. SMT. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, activate it. I've been getting a lot of spam from Zapier too. Like I have uh -huh. I have like a whole bunch of people like messaging me with like foreign from foreign look they foreign countries and some of Well, them you like, well, what you should they're submitting your form. Yeah. Then you need to them. yeah, you need to put your um what you need to do is yeah, you need too. to put your wow. Okay. So yeah, we definitely need to cut down on that because that's mm -hmm. so first of all, we don't want Wait a minute, one second. Okay. First of all, what we want to do is then let's stop using Zapier for your form now that you've got SendGrid going. Okay. Step one. Okay. That'll stop us from using up Zaps <laughs> for spam. Yeah, because I've been getting text messages saying someone so just submitted the yeah. form. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know this rose. Yeah. So so let's 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 uh switch over to you know, once you get SendGrid set up, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about using Zapier for your form notifications no more. It'll just okay. send out. Um, but in order to cut down on that spam, you need to activate um, CAPTCHA. So if you just turn on CAPTCHA, and now in order to turn on CAPTCHA, you've got to go through a couple steps. But first of all, Gravity Forms has CAPTCHA built in. Mm -hmm. But you have to go through the steps creating the CAPTCHA uh set up through your google um, cloud account so you have a google cloud account you go over there and you just create a captcha uh, basically a captcha resource account where you give the domain name that is authenticated and then you copy the your uh, keys and you paste them in your gravity forms and from that point forward your form will be secured through captcha and you won't get any more spam okay okay Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can make a video tomorrow showing how to do that. That'll be a tutorial okay. in the Dropbox. That'll be a good place to. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I'll drop one. I'll drop that in there. All right. So, um, okay. You've got that activated now. So come over WP Mail SMTP right here. Right here on the sidebar. Yep. Go to your side. So now um, scroll down, 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 right here. So go ahead and select Send Grid. And now come over to Send Grid. Oh, right here. It's supposed to be doing it. Oh, it's not. Right here to your Send Grid account because you're going to have to get your API key. So scroll. Yeah, this? First of all, scroll this down into view. Also, are you, do you need to set up your send grid? Uh, I think so. Cause last time I had, I had. Remember, I didn't have it set up last time. But then, remember, then. Well, yeah. I mean, if this is a good time to do it, if you need. Oh, snap. okay. <laughs> okay. Hold so on. Hold on. let me go back. Oh, god, dang it! I gotta. Right. So Cyber yeah, Shake, while while he's down. getting that ready, mm -hmm. you can come over here to your send grid. Okay. You're gonna to need to get your API key. So just come over here to your send grid. I'll go back to the send grid, okay? Yes, please. And then come over here and hit where it says API keys. Right over here under your settings. Yeah, API keys. Oh, shoot. And then go ahead and create an API key. All right. Now we're gonna give it uh give the key a name. So name this key the name of that domain. So that domain is cyber socialites. Mm -hmm. oh, now i can't remember i believe that after you hit this create in view it's going to open up and show that key so you're going to actually stop sharing after you type this api key name allows that okay. so stop sharing and click this create in view button Go ahead and hit that create and view button, and then it should open up and show the key, right? Um, yes, the key's there. Okay, so copy that key, and then, and then uh, start sharing again, and go. Well, don't start sharing again until you get over to your uh, okay. WordPress. Go back over to your WordPress dashboard, and then start sharing again. Okay. Oh. 
Goat. Okay. I just rewatched the video. So go ahead and put your key in here. What's wrong? Um, I can't find the SendGrid plugin. Just what do you mean plugin? Um, send yeah, what was what was it's, the, uh, what WP you Mail. Add? It's oh. WP Mail SMTP. It's not SendGrid plugin. It's I just don't a SendGrid. What I did. I don't oh, so 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 the plugin you're gonna search for is WP Mail SMTP. Okay, let me. Cybershay for your sending domain is is going to be cyber. What is what is the domain? Cyber socialites. Yes. Wait a minute. Whoa. Okay. Because this domain is cybershay.com, but it's okay. You can still use the cyber socialites. But just know that you're going to be sending out mail from cybershay.com using cybersocialites.com email. Right. Oh, this but, is the Cybershay website. Oh, I thought this, this is was cyber cyber. Shay. Oh, I thought this it was. Oh, it was the wrong one then. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Really but you can use the same you can you can you can, can use the same thing grid and the same yeah. Oh, okay. You can use the same you can mm -hmm. use you can send it out through cyber socialites. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you you could just but so you'll put in here for your sending domain put cyber socialites. Mm -hmm. But this is not the cyber socialites page. I didn't even notice that. I'm yeah, it's not. You so but you're going to have to go through the process of send grid authentic domain authentication for cyber shade. Mm -hmm. com. But if you want to set up that send grid with your cyber socialites, you have mm -hmm. to log into cyber socialites.com. Okay, let me go into that website. I don't yeah. even have the WP mail. As mm -hmm. the... Well, you've got to add it. You've got to go to. So while she's doing this, Trey, go ahead and uh, share your screen. Okay. Okay, so what did I go to to add the. Okay, so so yeah, you're under add new, so come up, scroll up to the top. So yeah, you've got send grid in here, so you've got to replace that with WP SMTP. It just it would no 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 no. You you've got all one word. You've got to get rid of yeah it's WP space. There you go, and it, it's probably going to pop up right here. There it is right here. So you oh, can just yeah. install. Yeah. Okay, got it right here yeah so install and activate you've already gone through authenticating your send grid is that correct yes that's right all right so go ahead and activate so you might as well go ahead and come under your settings and get ready to get your api key down there api keys create api key cyber Shea, you ready um soon one minute Full access, okay. and so you give it a name, uh, it tray, name it it tray, or something like that. And then you're going to hit create and view down here, and I'm going to stop you from sharing. Oh, oh, it's not okay. Cyber Shay, uh, oh, yeah, what, I need to add the plugin again. I need to put it, yeah, you gotta website. add the plugin again. Oh, yeah. after I give it a name, I click create and view, mm -hmm. and then you copy that. And then, um, go back over to your WordPress, and we're going to use that to. What did I in there? Is something mail. What was it called again? Something WP mail. mail WP you. mail. Mm -hmm. WP SMTP mail. Okay. WP SMTP mail. Okay. Copy. Do they copy? And then I copy that where? And paste that where? Let's see. Show me your screen. Okay, you well, make sure you go back in your WordPress install. Oh, snap. My bad. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, go to your WordPress install. Go go to your WordPress dashboard and then start sharing. Okay, I'm done. I'm I got it in there right now. I'm sharing. Okay, oh. all right. So He's activate this okay. WP. Mm -hmm. Cyber you can go mm -hmm. ahead and just repeat those steps we did. So mm -hmm. install the plugin. Go yeah, get your API that. key. Paste your API key mm -hmm. in there. So where then, did I put the API key at again? So you got to click on Send Grid. Mm -hmm. So click on send grid and then yeah, paste your no 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 hey, that, that's not where you do it. No. Okay. okay, so if you cyber mm -hmm. uh IT trade's about to do it too, so cyber okay. say, uh right. watch the screen. Watch. Uh scroll down IT tray. So first thing you have to do is select send grid down here. So first select send grid and then scroll down. So right here you're gonna have paste your API key. Okay. And this is where you paste your API key. Uh, okay. Trey, 
type your mm -hmm. domain name right here where it says sending domain. So that's where we said um, we type it there. I'll yep, this is where you type your so yeah. you would type uh cyber socialites right there. Mm -hmm. And then dot com. Yeah, cyber socialites.com. Yeah, but in his case, he's dot mm -hmm. tech. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But yes, you want to put your full domain, cyber cyber socialites.com. No, without the HTTPS? No HTTPS. No, that would be a URL. Okay. It would oh, make okay. it a URL when you put that oh, in. Oh, okay. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So if you now if you scroll down mm -hmm. and hit save settings, that'll go ahead and save and authenticate that connection. And so now um scroll down. So okay. Um so you can put so from for the from email address um you can type whatever you want it to be at uh it.tra it dot tech or it trade dot tech so mm -hmm. maybe make it no reply dot it tray dot tech so that when wordpress sends out mail it comes through no reply at you can you can do that or so you can make it whatever you want for the email from the email part for the where it for says what? from email so this mm -hmm. is going to be the email address the emails are sent from oh okay on. so yeah so delete what's currently there trey so oh, you, yeah, that, yeah they just had that in there as a default uh, because mm -hmm. yeah so make it make it something like so okay so let's imagine a person submits your form mm -hmm. who do you want the form to say it came from that's the email address you're typing in here. So it has oh. to be a real email address? Well, okay. it's yeah. going to be so an email address. Sign? Yes. So it's an oh. email address at your domain, though. So be, oh. and it's going to be routed out through SendGrid. So mm -hmm. remember, SendGrid is going to deliver that mail, okay? Mm -hmm. Even though it doesn't have an inbox. Mm -hmm. So you can create, you can put whatever you want on the left side of this at symbol. So you can make oh. it. That's why I was saying you could make it no oh. reply. You can make mm -hmm. it no reply at if you wanted to, or you can make it, um, you know, uh, mm, you know messages at ittray.com. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. So make it messages at yeah. So I could put messages at cybersocialize.com or something. Yep, you sure can. Mm -hmm. I spelled that right. Okay. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I don't would make the, be, the lowercase a, m. It don't have to be a, an email that I, like that's working, right? Is, is nope. it working? Okay. Nope, because that's what SendGrid is doing. Okay. SendGrid, since you've connected this to SendGrid, SendGrid mm -hmm. is going to okay. send that mail out on that email address behalf. It is going to essentially make it exist. At the time you use it. So when they that's um, the beautiful the beautiful send thing about the, um, okay. email see your email when like you know how people send uh get an email from you and they can go in the inbox and it says who it's, it's gonna say it's it, gonna this is you. gonna say it's gonna say yep in fact let's try it right now scroll down mm -hmm. so wait a minute before you save the from name you can this can be plain this can be plain text and it can it can have capitalizations but this is the name that emails are sent from so in this case just spell your name right so you can say oh. it from it tray okay no dots though right if you want like oh, this okay. is literally like this is literally the sender name oh okay, okay. yeah okay so i'm gonna do it like uh spell it mm. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay, there you go. go. All right, and then so scroll down and then save. Save. Mm -hmm. Settings. Okay. Yeah, save. Okay. And if you want, you can go ahead and and just um. So first of all, you should stop using um, Zapier once you for sending out the form mail. But um, we can get into that later. Like you also okay. need to do. So you need to set up uh, your captcha. 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a video to do that. But right okay. now, let's just yeah. So let's let's just let's just test. Let's just run the test on here for me here. So scroll up, scroll up, okay. and then one moment. Scroll down. Let me just see something. One moment. Stop for one second. Where's it at? Scroll down. Scroll down a little bit more. Scroll down a little bit more. Go to tools right here. Go to tools. Yeah, here we go. Okay, send a test email. So go ahead mm -hmm. and just send a test email to, uh, so that's going to go to yes. ISIS Trade. It, uh, right. So go ahead and just send an email. Cybershade, you do the same thing. You got to hit tools and then just send a test mm -hmm. email. So now, Trey, but stop mine sharing. Say go. something else. It doesn't say, it's like when I look at mine, pull yours out. Trey, go ahead and check that email. Cybershade, pull your screen up. Let's uh -huh. see what you got. Okay. Welcome back, DJ Marcus. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. So, Cybershade. So mine's have, um, yeah, it has. Just that on it. Yeah, but but you can you can just delete that. Yeah, delete just that. delete that and put whatever email address okay. you want it to go to. Yeah. So that's my mm -hmm. personal email go will go there. I don't uh -huh. know how you ended up with that email address. <laughs> there, actually, <laughs> but just, just delete it Ooh, and just okay. yeah, just delete that one and just uh mm -hmm. just put your a real email like your Gmail or something like that. Okay. Oh wow, yeah. this is so cool. So you can pull yours up now, okay, Trey. Okay. Now that you okay. log in, just show it so that we can show the yeah. class how it uh okay. yeah. It shows, yeah, so now you see how right here yeah, you've got so from the from you see how it's showing yeah. uh it trade that's yeah. how you spelled it that's your from name wow and this is that's the so email cool. that's the yeah there you go oh my god this is exactly what i wanted okay so cool. now it goes okay sent mine so now check yours just to confirm and where does the message come through so um the email address that you put oh, in that, yep, yeah, okay. you got to check that email address. Okay. Wow, that is so cool. Okay. So now, if you now your form can send out mail. Well, now I can put that on my website. Oh, okay. Yeah, now your form can send out mail, but you have to configure your sender notification settings. And that's why. Huh. So I'm going to do, I'm going to cover that in a video. In fact, okay. let me make a note. In fact, uh -huh. let me make a note okay. to myself. <laughs> um, oh man. Okay, it can't do my yeah, it can't do my spam, but I got it. <laughs> yeah. It came through spam. It's spam, but I got it. Dang, this is right here. I can't go no further. Uh, it came through your spam. I wonder mm -hmm. why it came through spam. Yeah. But it did come. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did it come through? All right. Okay. Well, just mark it as not spam, but okay. I, I wonder why it came to spam. Oh. I don't know. I have to. I don't know why it came to spam. Oh. I have to try to Untap look and see if I can figure out why. From okay. your what you got going on, I'll I'll look at it. Um. Oh. Like let's. You can pull your pull your. Huh? Let, let me see it. Let me see it, Cybershy. You want to see it? Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can lay eyes on why it might have went to spam. It should not have went to spam. Well, first of all, it's your Yahoo Mail. You think that's why? And they... Oh. It, yeah. Um, blocked images. Yeah. It... Yeah. Yahoo Mail might have sent it to spam. Ain't no telling, but Yahoo Mail. Um, I know mm. just how finicky they they can be. So yeah, just mark it as not spam. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's 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 a concern. You don't want it going to spam, but. Mm -hmm. What what did you make as the email address? Um, I use my regular email, mm. metrolite one at yahoo.com. 
but what did you make uh, as the cyber at, at cyber Shay? you made messages um, at cyber Shay, messages, i mean at cyber socialite at cyber socialites.com huh okay i don't know man i, I have to try with somebody else try try sending a test to someone else and uh see if it goes to their spam okay i can use my gmail account yeah try your gmail and see if it okay. goes to spam just yeah just send a test again but with your gmail hmm. i'm just just curious because hmm. that's um this where i changed my email right here yeah but 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 yeah but but no 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 you're not going to change it you're not going to don't worry about it right now i'm going to make okay, a video okay, okay. What to do. yeah i'll make a video showing what okay. to do you can leave it like that for now because i got to make two videos i got first okay. of all, i got to make a video showing how to turn on uh your captcha okay okay that'll cut down on your spam that'll cut your spam off pretty much for your forms okay. and then i've got to make a, and then i'm going to make another video showing how to uh actually it's already in the class videos of the replay but just how to use your gmail sender notification and stop using zapier for uh the mail notification so yeah you know um it's just that you don't have to use a zap in order to process the mail unless you need to like if you want to take the form data and send it into a crm or send it to like and you don't even you could still do that through zapier actually but i mean through uh gravity forms actually but like just certain things that you would you would want to route the form through zapier for like if you're going to do other things but if the only thing you want to do is notify now that you've got SingGrid set up you don't have to do it that way no more you had to do it that way before you had SingGrid, but uh, now your actual wordpress sends out notifications uh, and we okay. you see what i'm saying so you can okay. use zapier for other stuff but it's just you don't necessarily have to use it for that right now. Oh, okay. okay so it came through my gmail now and it came, it came through and it went to your inbox regular uh -huh. yeah uh-huh yeah it's that yahoo mail man mm -hmm. yeah yeah so I, don't, I don't use that huh yeah well <laughs> yeah some some people do though but yeah it's just yahoo mail is yeah. finicky yeah it's, <laughs> and i i know that just sounds like an excuse but it really is yeah all right so any questions or anything Ooh, I think. all right oh I'm, yeah i'll be um, looking forward to the video did you ever yeah. figure out how to use the bot press did they change things did you ever figure out yeah i'm going to um i'll mm -hmm. I'll, I'll uh i'll make a video on that for you but okay. yeah i i did go in there and mess around with it and mm -hmm. i will i'll make a video showing what to okay. do with that and um yeah yeah yeah. no worries and, Ooh, and a lot and, of videos yeah i know and that's what i'm <laughs> over these next couple of weeks i'm just i'm making these yeah. videos these foundational videos yeah. and uh that'll be you know that way everybody that comes in new they can just watch the videos and do this yeah. and we can stay focused on just moving forward yeah you know what i mean yeah all right mm -hmm. all right everyone Ooh. so i'm gonna get out of here if you don't class. Have anything else yeah, yeah no problem yeah. cyber Shay, uh you just uh i don't know like we we have to figure out who else wants to participate in, on the on on your class project mm -hmm. but um i'll set up the resources and uh just i don't know just push okay. forward somehow <laughs> but yeah mm -hmm. I'll, I'll set up the resources I'll help you, okay? cyber Shay. you'll help cyber Shay? okay sweet there you go all Thank right you. so let's uh anybody everybody that wants to be part of it let's let's pick a time to get together and get started all right all right okay. all right everyone y'all have a great week all right and i'll too. see you again maybe next week but you know we'll, uh, <laughs> but soon under the new schedule but maybe we'll we'll come back next week again too under oh this. yeah all right okay i gotta cool. go find some shoes for my second oh, life <laughs> i can't find my feet too big yeah well you I know you can scale them making avatars you know you can scale them so you can you can you can scale the mesh you can right click on it click edit and then you can scale yeah. it bigger you can pull yeah oh really all sorts of stuff yes, oh sir. man i'll get with you mm -hmm. later on that <laughs> <laughs> all right there. yeah watch right. my uh yeah. tutorial so i got you have I a got, tutorial too i've I got need second to go life tutorials on my youtube <laughs> i need to go and make an avatar in second life i got yeah i got second life tutorials on my youtube did you watch the one i sent you uh it trade about the yes, i did 
Did it yes, help at I all? I did. I've seen that. And then Artie was like, oh, I got some land I can give you. I'm oh, like, she gave you some land? Yeah, she haven't given it to me yet, but um, okay, because I'm yeah. still exploring and gotcha my avatar. But uh, she, yeah, she said she got some. Yeah, her and uh, uh, enjoy the rest of your day. All right, man. See you. <laughs> Take care. All right, man. Yeah. All right, everybody. I'm gonna get out of here too. Yeah. All just right. get with me about Second Life. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Talk to you soon, Cyber Shay. Right. We'll all see you later, G Dudes. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Have a great week.